What software do you need to create 3D game environment art? In this tutorial, I am going to list the software you would need to know and use to create environment art. I have split software into pipeline categories, from visual development to modeling to sculpting, texturing, baking your normal maps, generating your terrain, rendering your assets inside the game engine, and video recording and video editing to showcase your work. Before we get started, if you are interested for all the links to the mentioned software, you can visit the blog post on World of Level Design, and here is the short URL. Also, no one has asked me or paid me to mention their software. So this list is based on my experience on the software that I use and what I've seen other game environment artists use majority of the time. And if you are interested in seeing what specific software that I use myself, just visit the blog post by following the link above or just scroll down if you're watching this video on the website. So let's begin. First up is concept art and visual development. Concept art is not a requirement for environment artist, but it is a very valuable discipline to be familiar with. Color, value, composition, design are some of the things that you'll be dealing with when you are creating game assets. At some point, you may want to create your own concept designs to work from to create game environments. The primary software that you would use is Adobe Photoshop. Photoshop is very in-depth and robust software that pretty much takes care of everything that you would need to create textures, to digital paint, and conceptualize your world. The other alternative is to use Painter. Many concept artists love using Painter for it's very similar to traditional painting tool set that you could get on in digital form. Both of these, Photoshop and Painter, are going to cost you, but there is a free alternative and it's called GIMP. It's not as robust as Photoshop or Painter, but it's a very nice free alternative to use for texturing and painting. Next one is 3D modeling. And this is the essential piece of software for any environment artist. Now, there are a lot of 3D modeling applications out there to choose from. But the core two applications and the industry standard are Maya and 3ds Max. Maya and 3ds Max are complete 3D packages that include an extensive modeling toolset. But you can do a lot more than just model with them. Now both of these software are going to cost you. Uh, they do include a free student version, but if you can't afford Maya or 3ds Max, the free alternative to use is Blender. I have seen Blender being used for creating game assets to import into UDK, CryEngine, or Unity. So Blender is a very good free alternative to use. Up next is 3D Sculpting. Digital Sculpting is a process of creating high poly models where the end result would be to acquire normal maps through baking high poly onto a low poly model. The two primary sculpting applications are Modbox and ZBrush. There is a free alternative called Sculptress and is created by same people who did ZBrush but the industry standard software is Modbox and ZBrush. Next, after modeling your assets, you will need to texture them. Texturing is where you would apply a 2D image onto a 3D game asset. Texturing could be hand painted through digital painting in Photoshop or Painter, or you would use a photo manipulated image as a texture base. For painting and creating textures, you will need Photoshop. A free texturing alternative software is GIMP. Next, we have normal mapping and baking. Normal mapping is used to fake object surface detail of high resolution geometry to a low poly mesh model. And this is done through a normal map texture. So when you apply a normal map to a low poly mesh, it will create an illusion of extra geometry and surface detail without adding additional polygons. To create high poly and low poly and then bake a normal map, you could use Modbox, ZBrush, to create your high poly and then use either Maya or 3ds Max to create your low poly and then you would bake a normal map from the high poly that you created inside the 3d sculpting software and then you would bake the normal maps from high poly model onto a low poly using Maya or 3ds Max. 
this would be the ideal way of creating your normal maps is to use a high poly model and then bake it onto a low poly mesh but sometimes the time it doesn't allow for that so there are extra tools that you could use to quickly generate surface detail without having a high poly mesh the first is X normals this is a free software and it's a great tool that allows you to input a high poly mesh and a low poly and it will generate a normal map and the results are very good another free tool is using Nvidia Photoshop filter this is a plugin inside Photoshop and it will allow you to generate normal maps using a 2d image either you can use a height map which is a black and white image or you can use a photo and it will generate a normal map from that photo another good piece of software is ndo2 this is a very good application of taking your 2d images and generating a very good normal map from them an alternative to ndo2 is crazy bump crazy bump does very similar things uh, where it takes a generated 2d image or a photo and it turns it into a normal map next we have height map terrain generation tools height map generator will allow you to procedurally generate large detailed terrain height maps which then you could use those height maps to import into a game engine and use them as the base or as the final terrain for the game environment so instead of trying to create large size landscapes by hand inside UDK or inside CryEngine or inside any other game engine that you use these are the software that you can use outside to generate height maps for you and then you can use those two images and import them which will save you a lot of time of texturing and creating the landscapes by hand so the first one is World Machine there is a paid and a free basic edition the next is Terrigen with this software you could also create not only height maps but it will allow you to create sky boxes next is HMES Terrasculptor uh, this is a pretty good software and currently it's free and in beta but I don't know how long they're going to be in beta and free and when they go final version uh, it will most likely be a paid version of it so you may want to try the beta and uh, free download first and the final one is L3D2 and it includes either a paid version or a free basic edition next is rendering your game assets that you modeled created normal maps and textured you would need to display those game assets inside a game engine for the best visible results of how they're going to be used in game and to do that you need a game engine to import those game assets into now I have written an extensive blog post on 15 recommended 3D game engines on worldlevelldesign.com and if you follow the short link it will take you exactly to the website to the blog post that you can look through the 15 recommended game engines to import and render your game assets. I also provide all the links and download information that you would need to acquire the 3D game engines and for our final category is video capture and video editing this is when you are done with your game asset and you've imported it into a game engine and you want to showcase the world and the game environment through a video uh, first you would need to capture that video then you would need to edit that video and render out a final version that you can upload to YouTube or any other video publishing site so for video capture uh, we have Camtasia Camtasia is primarily used for presentations but the latest version does include ability to capture video game footage at a very decent frame rate the next one is Fraps and Fraps is very good at capturing video game footage at a very high frame rate both of these include a paid version and a free trial or a free limited version of the software so once you've captured the game footage of your environment you would need to edit it and present it in its best possible way and to do that you can use a lot of video editing software that's out there first is Adobe Premiere next is Sony Vegas uh, if you own a Mac you can use Final Cut and a free version if you own a window operating system you can use Windows Movie Maker so I hope this tutorial was helpful to showing you what software you would need to create game environment art with